Hey guys, welcome back. This is Val from Gymlight. In this short video, I'm gonna show you how to create real HDR maps inside Dash 2 that actually capture lighting data and save as, you know, files so you can just quickly load and that will kind of relight your scene as you add them. And if you're looking at this uh, render here, it's created using a single character and then there is no environment, it's just an HDR uh, image applied here as you can see here in our environment tab, it's right here. And it's in the EXR format. Now the beautiful thing about HDR maps is that they render really quickly, right? I mean, it's it's just breathtaking how quick quick they are because they are pre-rendered so the only thing rendering is the girl here right now this particular set has a few of these maps you can even position your character outdoors and then we can have a lower camera there we go so it's really really quick and it's instant right there's no additional work required or needed to make this work really fast now how do you create these maps so that they capture real scene data as you can see this girl cap is you know kind of, kind of catching light from all directions and it feels like she's really in the scene right Second one here, number five. It has a kind of medium high camera, something like that. And really cool stuff, right? So how do we create these? Well, the thing is, um, I would probably want her a little bit larger here, right? I think the camera needs to be a little bit lower. There we go. The thing is, you can feel all the additional lights hitting her, including the red in her hair and all that, right? And the thing is, if you just render out, um, I mean, Dash Studio has a spherical camera, right? So I'm gonna show you how this works. So I'm gonna just remove uh, all the set, uh, which is this stonemason scenery here, um, applied to my HDR map, right? It's a sci-fi saloon set and Stardust Saloon actually, right? So let me load a real scene. Let's remove our girl. So I'm gonna remove our girl from the scene. I'm gonna start from scratch and show you. I'm gonna load a set here. So I'm gonna go to Props. And I'm gonna load this an old Stonemason classic, right? <laughs> Called Streets of Asia 2. It's a cool set and it's also very easy on your system. So what I want to do is I want to remove my environmental map. So I have a real you know, lighting coming through, right? If you load all their items, uh, they may have a sky dome included. Uh, you can either locate it here and find it located here, right? Or we can also use the node selection tool. Just click there and remove the sky. So first of all, um there is a spherical camera right so let's say i'm just going to remove the ground it, it's kind of preventing the water from being visible i'm going to remove the ground let's locate it here ground off there we go and i'm going to use a summer ish date for the sky so i get a little bit nicer summer tint and i'm going to just Choose a view here and somewhere around here. Now I'm gonna choose camera height 170, which is pretty good for characters, right? Kind of eye level. And normally you wanna have the camera straight in straight angles so that it doesn't uh, look weird. Oops, that's the wrong angle. Minus 19, right? 90 is fine straight straight ahead no angles on the z and x right and i'm gonna just blur blur the horizon a little bit so this horizon blur 
and that's it right so we are ready now to render this out I'm just gonna move the sound a little bit let's just do maybe we can rotate the sound a little bit so it kind of gets around yeah a little bit of shade in there on the walls, right? That's gonna be cool. Nice. So uh, when you render for HDR or you know uh, 360 degree renders, right? You want to use a spherical projection on the camera. I'm gonna set that in a moment, but you want to have this twice as wide as high. So for instance, 4,000 times two. Right, and then you go to camera settings here on lens and choose spherical. And then you just render this out, right? At this resolution, it goes pretty fast. If you go up to 10K or even more, uh, it can take a really long time on an older machine. If you have a high-end graphic card like the RTX whatever 490, it takes maybe 20, 30 minutes per you know, map. I'd say 20, 25. Uh, sometimes even lower, 10 minutes, right? Depends on what kind of scene you have, even five minutes. But if you have an older machine, that can take a long time, like hours, right? So uh, I'm gonna just render this really, really low res right now, just to show you. I can maybe go 4, 4K, that's fine. This is a laptop and it's not that super fast, right? If I click on render now, the problem with HD or 360 or spherical map is that by default, they do not render in 32 bits. So they will not capture any real lighting data, right? And so this is gonna take a while to render. This is a 4K render, right? So I'm gonna just you know, click on cancel uh, just right now because we don't need full quality. Right? I'm going to show you how this works. So I'm going to cancel. It's a little bit blurry, but that's fine. I'm going to save that right now. And we can use a map file name and just choose PNG and save. So we have that done now. And what we can do now as a test is to load back our character, right? So I'm going to save the scene. Uh, I'm going to load back my, my recent uh, uh, scenery here, which I started this video with, right? So this, this was the single Genesis 8 female character um, and that HDR map I, I showed you earlier, right? Uh, the sci-fi. Now, the thing is, if I load now, let's say we load that map we just created. So I go to environment and click on here, click on browse, and just choose the render we just did, it ends up being, um, let's just use the same settings here as we had originally. Uh, as you can see, it looks kind of weird, right? It's not really where we want it to be. Um, it lacks that real lighting data. It looks very soft on the shadows and doesn't provide, you know, any sharp sun shadows. And if we just set it to a normal thing, exposure, we can also correct gamma here uh, to make it look more as it was rendered, right? It, as you can see, it doesn't provide enough lighting data, right? It doesn't look good. I mean, it looks good. It looks like a fine scenery, right? But it doesn't have the real lighting data that the scene had originally. So there is a small cool tweak you can actually do inside Dash Studio that will enable you to render in 32 bits straight out of Dash Studio. It's like pure magic. So uh, jumping back to the scene we just uh, used for rendering, there is a specific thing we can do here. Let me remove that auto thing that jumps in here. Um, specific setting, all right? It's right here in the render settings in the advanced tab. And then you head to canvases, all right? And click there. 
and then click on plus sign and that adds canvas one beauty all right now the thing is this saves a specific image along with your main image in the exr format okay beauty just captures everything including the lighting and saves it as a hdr all right uh with 32-bit channel in the exr format so it's really really handy now to get it to save in the proper in the same folder you can render as here uh, image name let's say we call this main then image path I'm gonna choose a folder and within my HDR test I'm gonna create a new folder called real and click on select folder all right uh, this is a single image and we render to file I haven't tested render to window, but upon choosing render to file, we're gonna force the attribute to actually go into this folder and save, right? And that will then save um, uh, the other file as well. So if I now click on render, all right, this will now render out that image and also render out the other one at the same time. So this doesn't take extra time. So DAS native render is 32 bit, all right? But this doesn't save it that way. All right, so thing is, you can at any time cancel this, right? Cancel and it will save both files. Saved, now if I go in that folder right here, in the real folder, I now have two images. One is the main uh, BMP file in this case, uh, which is the, the main render, right? And the other one, this is because we chose BMP here, by the way, right? And the other one here is the EXR. Now they render very, very bright. Don't know why that is, but they render incredibly bright. So if you load this into Photoshop, it's gonna look like pure white. But here's the thing. Now, let's look back um, the other scene we had. So the scene we opened with, right? The, the Genesis 8 female girl and that map we had. So, and we're just gonna substitute with the map we just did. So in the environment tab, I'm gonna click here and choose environment map. And I'll choose the render we just did. So browse. And I'm gonna jump into the real folder and main canvases and click there. And open Sesame. Now, as I said, these render really bright. You can already sense the shadows, right? I'm gonna set the camera correctly to 170. All right. And now I'm gonna move back. That looks already better. It's a little bit too bright. That's Something we're gonna adjust. Now, we're gonna adjust the intensity. And you wanna go down really, really low here on these. Something like that, right? Yeah, I think something like that is pretty much almost where we want it to be. I think we can maybe punch it a little bit more. Yeah, something like that, right? Pretty much looks like exactly like the render, right? You have to render them for much longer than what I did and not the proper resolution, because if you zoom in on this, it's gonna look like crap, right? It's very, very blurry. Uh, but you can already see that it provides the exact scene lighting captured. You even sense it on the shadows, all right? It's not just a weird looking shadow, it's a real looking shadow that it's, it has the same, the right color, the right proportions, all that, right? and all everything is captured you feel this this the blue and all that is captured at the same time so if you look at her from this side she even has wall bouncing occurring right you can feel the walls bounce back at her you can feel all that on the body right so it's really really cool 
So guys, I want this to be a quick video about you know how to render you know proper HDR maps right side as to you using the spherical camera lens and saving uh, canvases. Remember, go into here canvases, click there and click on plus to get beauty. By the way, there are other types. You can see there is a lot to choose from, right? But beauty is the one that I found is, well, just the one to use, right, for this. All right, remember to always render twice the width as height, and you can go up to 10K on width and still use the denoiser here. Uh, the denoiser works up to 10K. If you surpass 10K, it will no longer work. It's an IRA limitation with NVIDIA and all that. So if you, you, if you want to render 16K, you can do that, but it will not work with the denoiser. So guys, that's all. If you want to learn more and other ways of creating really cool looking HDR maps, I have a tutorial in my dash store. There's a link below this video. Check out all the other cool stuff below as well. Thanks so much for watching guys. Please follow this channel and so you support my work and you get more free stuff, of course, right? So guys, that's all. Have fun. See you soon again.